Hello, everybody. My name is Chani Samanithan, and I'm a specialist solutions architect working on IoT and robotics at Amazon Web Services. Today, I will be talking about Amazon Monitron and how it can be used for condition-based and predictive motor maintenance. Amazon Monitron is an end-to-end -end system that uses machine learning to detect abnormal behavior in industrial machinery, enabling you to implement condition-based and predictive maintenance and reduce unplanned downtime. Let's get started. Before we fully dive into Monitron, I wanted to take a moment to show our complete AWS machine learning stack. We have one of the broadest and deepest service capabilities in the space. Now, this can look a bit overwhelming, but I really wanted to try and focus on the three layers separately, which are shown here. To take a deeper look at the stack, let's start at the bottom layer. Here we have a services that are tailored for developers with machine learning and data science expertise. This includes the most popular frameworks and infrastructures, a multitude of ways to train and infer models, including CPUs, GPUs, custom ASICs, FPGAs, even elastic inference capabilities. The middle layer, which we call the machine learning services, is all about SageMaker, specifically SageMaker Studio, an end-to-end -end integrated development environment that manages the machine learning workflow all the way from preparing the data to training that data to managing and sharing those elements with other developers to hosting those models and to also deploying and measuring the effectiveness of those models. This layer is really targeted for those folks who don't have underlying machine learning experience, but do have the data experience. The top layer, which we call AI services, will come as the biggest surprise for those people who think of us only as infrastructure as a service only. Here we have some very impressive APIs for vision, speech, text search, chatbots, and even moving up one more level to the capabilities that include our portfolio of purpose-built services for industrial. Amazon Monitron, look out for equipment, and look out for vision. All of these are based on Amazon's own internally developed capabilities. The key metric of industrial maintenance and reliability impact is the ability to minimize any type of unplanned downtime and unscheduled maintenance. According to several industry sources, 82% of companies have experienced unplanned downtime over the past three years. 70% of respondents aren't fully aware of when their equipment is due for maintenance, upgrade, or replacement. And there's about a 5 to 20% reduction of productivity by facilities with poor maintenance strategies. And finally, $50 billion is the annual cost of unplanned downtime costs for industrial manufacturers. Therefore, to reduce all these factors, you must be able to detect machine issues before they occur. Amazon Monitron detects abnormal conditions in your industrial machinery, and this helps you to build an industrial maintenance strategy and to take proactive actions and reduce costly and unplanned downtime. So let's talk about what constitutes a good maintenance strategy. We see many customers moving away from reactive and planned maintenance approaches to more of a data-driven methods of proactive and predictive maintenance. The whole idea is to increase the reliability and overall equipment effectiveness. The first phase is being reactive and fixing things when they're broken. There are certainly some scenarios where some equipment should really be run until failure and then replaced. The second phase is to plan for reliability and to have scheduled maintenance activities. However, these events tend to stop productivity sometimes when there's no indication of any kind of failure. It's this third phase of predictive maintenance that Amazon Monitron can really help customers. In this phase, the advanced analytics and sensing data allows the prediction of machine reliability better than the other two phases. Here we detect anomalous trends through anomaly detection, identify the root causes through diagnostics, and estimate the remaining useful life by making predictions based on machine learning and continuous sensing analytics. So what are the requirements to build out an effective predictive maintenance platform? Installing sensors and the necessary infrastructure for data connectivity, storage, analytics, and alerting are foundational elements for enabling predictive maintenance. However, in order to make it work, companies have historically needed skilled technicians and data scientists to piece together a complex uh, solution from scratch. This included identifying and procuring the right type of sensors for their use cases and then connecting them together with an IoT gateway or a device that aggregates and transmits this data. As a result, very few companies have been able to successfully implement predictive maintenance. And those that have done it are looking for different types of ways to further leverage their investment while also easing the burden of maintaining their own homegrown solutions. So what is the solution? 
Well, we believe that Amazon Monitron is a solution. Amazon Monitron includes sensors to capture vibration and temperature data from equipment and a gateway device to, to securely transfer that data to AWS. The Monitron service analyzes the data for any kind of abnormal machine patterns using machine learning. And a companion mobile app is also there to set up the devices and receive reports on operating behavior and to alert of any kind of potential failures in your machinery. You can start monitoring equipment health in minutes without any development work or ML experience required and enable predictive maintenance with the same technology used to monitor equipment in the Amazon fulfillment centers. So let's take a look at some of the key features of Amazon Monitron. It has ISO and ML based analytics where Amazon Monitron can automatically detect anomalies with ISO standard rules and machine learning enabled models. This would be the ISO 20816-1 standard for general zone boundaries. It has timely notifications which are shown in the Amazon Monitron mobile app. Amazon Monitron sends push notifications to users in the, the mobile app when any kind of abnormal machine patterns from the vibration and temperature sensors are detected. With just a few taps of the mobile app, technicians can enter feedback on those alerts that are received. Mm -hmm. Amazon Monitron learns from that feedback and continually improves over time. It's a fully managed low cost wireless sensors and Wi-Fi gateways in the overall solution. So Amazon Monitron includes the low cost wireless sensors that can be attached easily to your equipment as well as the Wi-Fi gateways that are used to transfer the sensor data to AWS. Monitron sensors and gateways are pre-configured to work with the Monitron service, allowing reliability managers to quickly install and start using these devices to monitor their equipment without any development work at all. Here's some top use cases for Amazon Monitron and some examples of machines that can be used with. Monitron's end-to-end -end system can be used to enable predictive maintenance for all kinds of rotation machinery in production lines and warehouses, bearings, gearboxes, motors, pumps, compressors, fans, and generators are all common examples of machines or machined parts that Monitron supports. So these are some of the benefits of Amazon Monitron. It's simple. You can install Monitron sensors and gateways using the Monitron app and start monitoring your equipment in minutes. Monitron automatically analyzes the data and sends you an alert when it detects abnormal machine conditions. No machine learning experience is required. You can detect machine issues before they occur. Montron detects abnormal conditions in your industrial machinery, and this helps you take any kind of proactive actions and reduce costly and unplanned downtime. It's cost-effective equipment monitoring. Montron offers a cost-effective way to monitor your equipment with low upfront hardware investment compared to conventional sensors and a pay-as-you-go service. In fact, most of our customers achieve return on investment in under one year. It has the highest standards of data security. Amazon Monitron secures the sensors and gateways and the communication between them with the Monitron service. It encrypts your data at rest and also in transit. This is done either using AWS managed encryption keys or customer provided encryption keys. Amazon Monitron sensors and gateways are also verified for their authenticity using unique identity keys generated at the time of device production. This ensures that malicious devices cannot register and access the service somehow. It also increases the accuracy with continuous improvement. To increase the accuracy of the system, technicians can enter feedback on the alerts in the mobile app, and Amazon Monitron learns from that feedback to continuously improve over time. I want to take a few moments to tell you about some real-world use cases that Monitron is helping with. Global medical technology company Baxter International, Baxter, prevented over 500 machine hours of unplanned downtime using 2,500 Amazon Monitron sensors in its largest facility in the United States. Baxter's mission is to save and sustain patient lives, delivering products to treat chronic and acute medical conditions. To reduce unplanned equipment downtime in its facilities, which run around the clock, Baxter needed an equipment monitoring solution that was simple to deploy, equipment agnostic, cost efficient and scalable. The company's shift from a reactive to a predictive maintenance strategy resulted in improved business processes using Amazon Monitron. Additionally, using Amazon Monitron, Amazon customer fulfillment reduced unplanned equipment downtime hours by 69%, helping the company meet its goal of fulfilling customer orders on time. Amazon customer fulfillment has fulfillment centers worldwide where employees pick, pack, and ship customer orders. 
Because of the global scale of the company, Amazon Customer Fulfillment wanted to implement a predictive maintenance program as part of its broad maintenance strategy to make it more affordable and efficient. Using Amazon Monitron, Amazon Customer Fulfillment can be more effective with technician time, avoiding costly unplanned equipment downtime with predictive maintenance. And finally, the CEO of GE Digital is looking forward to leveraging Monitron to help customers further improve uptime and reliability by applying predictive analytics and proven asset management practices to a broader range of plant equipment. It's really amazing what customers are doing already with Amazon Monitron. All right, so now let's talk about how to get started with Amazon Monitron. First, purchase sensors and gateways. And to get started with Amazon Monitron, you can buy Amazon Monitron sensors and gateways at amazon.com or Amazon Business if you want to buy it in bulk using a purchase order. And Amazon Monitron also offers a starter kit that includes five sensors and one gateway so that you can get started in an easy and cost-effective way. Next, configure and install. Create a project with the Amazon Monitron console, then using the Monitron mobile app, reliability managers can commission the Monitron gateways, register the equipment that they would like to monitor, and pair the Monitron sensors to one or more positions on the equipment itself. The getting started guide provided in the console and in the mobile app will take you through the set setup step by step with no special training that's required. Finally, monitor and manage. Once the Monitron sensors and gateways are set up, sensors automatically connect to the AWS cloud via the gateway and Monitron starts monitoring the equipment. Reliability managers and technicians get alerted whenever Monitron detects potential failures. And in the Monitron mobile app, technicians can view the sensor measurements and provide feedback on alerts received to help improve the system accuracy. Amazon Monitron includes both one-time hardware purchase costs and an ongoing pay-as-you-go service fee from Amazon Monitron sensor that's in use. There are no additional upfront fees and no long-term commitments. Hardware purchases are made at the advertised list price. Assuming you have ordered the Amazon Monitron kit, I would like to show you a video that our product management team created to help understand the steps necessary to set up Amazon Monitron. This video is narrated by Kartik Dalal, the senior product manager at AWS. Take it away, Kartik. Let's say you are a food and beverage company and you decide to monitor a pump at your Dallas site. To get started, you order the Amazon Monitron sensors and gateways on Amazon.com. Let's assume you received these devices. Next, you want to set them up in order to monitor your equipment. You go to the AWS console and search for Amazon Monitron and launch the service. You start by creating a project. A project is where you register sites and assets that you want to monitor. You enter a name for your project. Typically, you want to enter your company name here. Let's say company XYZ. Next, you want to add an administrator to this project. This could be the reliability manager at your Dallas site. Let's call her Jane Doe. You can create Jane as a user. Next, you add Jane to the project. As you saw, the project was successfully created and Jane was added as a user. Next, you invite Jane to the access this project by sending her email instructions. Let's say you already did that. Once you do this, Jane can use the Monitron app to start monitoring the pump. Let's go into the app to see how she would do that. Let's assume that following the instructions in the invitation email, Jane installs the Monitron Android app and logs into it. Once inside the app, Jane can set up the Monitron sensors and gateways and start monitoring the pump. She starts off by installing a gateway. To do so, she navigates to the menu and to the gateway section and adds a gateway. While doing so, she, she makes sure that the Bluetooth of her phone is turned on and she presses a commissioning button on the side of the gateway. The app looks for available gateways in the vicinity. Jane selects the gateway. Now the app looks for available Wi-Fi networks at the site. Jane selects a suitable and secure wireless network at the Dallas site and onboards the gateway on that site. 
this, the installation process of the gateway is very similar to how you would install a smart home assistant such as an echo device at home the function of the gateway is to automatically and securely transfer the sensor data to the cloud it does so by communicating with the sensor over bluetooth low energy and with the cloud using wi-fi internet a few moments later the gateway is connected to the monitoring service in the cloud now that the gateway is connected jane can register the pump and pair sensors to it to do so she goes to the asset page here she adds a new asset she calls this asset pump and identifies the iso 2816 class of the asset Now that the asset has been added, Jane can pair sensors to one or more positions on this asset. To do so, she clicks pair sensor and identifies a name for the position. Let's say she wants to pair the, pair the sensor to the motor of the pump. Next, Jane brings the smartphone close to the sensor. Amazon Monitron uses near-field communication technology to seamlessly register the sensor in the cloud. In a few seconds, the sensor is paired to the position and goes online. Jane can now physically mount the sensor to the motor of the pump using the suggested adhesive. Once done, the sensor starts capturing vibration and temperature data and Monitron will start monitoring the pump. The first set of data on temperature and vibration already trickled in. As you saw, all these steps were simple and quick and Jane was able to start monitoring her equipment in minutes. Jane did not have to write even a single line of code to start monitoring the pump. Once the sensor is installed, Amazon Monitron trains a machine learning model by baselining the vibration and temperature patterns of the equipment. It sends an alert when it detects an anomaly based on this model. These alerts are sent as push notifications and can be viewed in the bell on the top right corner. As you see, three alerts were received in the month of November. When an alert is received, Jane can conduct physical investigations of the equipment and fix the issue. In doing so, Jane can either click on the alert or navigate to the position under consideration to look for historical sensor measurements and draw insights. Once the issue is fixed, Jane can resolve the issue in the Monitron app by clicking on the Resolve button. Jane can also provide feedback at the same time by providing the closure codes, which are failure mode, failure cause, and the actions taken. If no issue was found in the equipment, Jane can also indicate that in the app. When Jane does that, Monitron treats it as a false alarm label for the machine learning model and retrains the model based on that. As you see, Jane was able to leverage the power of machine learning and monitor the pump. She required no machine learning knowledge or expertise and did not have to do any development work in doing so. Through this demo, we saw how you can set up and use Amazon Monitron. Thanks, Kartik. Now that you have everything set up, it's time to monitor some motors with Amazon Monitron. This slide shows a sample end-to-end -end workflow where Monitron can be used. You can attach the Monitron sensor to an asset such as a motor. That sensor is going to communicate via Bluetooth 5 to the Amazon Monitron gateway, and the gateway will communicate wirelessly via Wi-Fi and through the internet to the AWS cloud and the Amazon Monitron service. From there, you can use AWS console to check your project or the mobile application to get status and measurements. Here's an example of multiple Monitron sensors being used to measure different parts of a motor. On the right is an example of the readings being shown over time. As you can see, there's our alarm conditions that are being displayed on the vibration and temperature as they increase over time. I wanted to see how sensitive the sensors were, so I set up a small prototype demo and I wanted to share that with you. Here's my setup. My setup included four motors, each slightly a different type of motor. I had a speed motor from an RC racing car, two vibrational motors with offset weighted ends, and a very small DC motor. I ran each motor with a speed controller to see how fine I can control the increase in RMS velocity to a Monotron sensor. I was able to get some meaningful information based on the speed and the vibration and the temperature readings. This is what happens when you don't put a speed controller uh, on the some of these motors itself. You can see it just kind of goes across the table there. 
So as it turns out, the small DC motor with the speed controller allowed me to fine tune when alerts would be generated. Here's the setup I use for that. It's basically a 12 volt power supply coming into a speed controller, which is connected to a small DC motor. The DC motor is attached to the sensor through a simple zip tie. At the bottom left is an alert which gets sent once the vibration or temperature increases beyond a certain normal condition. In the middle, the alarm status is displayed along with the request to acknowledge that alarm. Lastly, on the right are the RMS velocity and temperatures over time. The red zone respectively is where an alert was triggered by the sensor's repeated readings. Lastly, it's possible to take a measurement reading ad hoc of any of these sensors through the Amazon Martron mobile app using NFC. So to take a measurement, you would simply go to the asset you want to measure and select the, me the take measurement and place the NFC reader close to the sensor. The reading is going to be taken and then sent back to the AWS cloud and the Amazon Monotron service. The reading is also updated on the mobile app itself. It's that simple to monitor all assets under Amazon Monotron. And that concludes the presentation for today. If you want to learn more about Amazon Monotron, you can take a look at aws.amazon.com forward slash Monotron. Please take a look at that site and you can get more information about how to get started with Monotron. I also included some information about the AWS cloud skills. We encourage you to get engaged with our training and certification content to learn more about AWS. Our Skill Builder is our online learning center that makes it easier for anyone from beginners to experienced and professionals to build AWS cloud skills. We offer over 500 free digital courses that can help you and your team build new cloud skills and learn about the latest services. And you can take that, that training wherever it's convenient for you and up to 16 different languages are offered for the different skill builder classes. Within skill builder, you can take advantage of different types of flexible learning paths, which offer different types of suggested digital courses, which are also aligned to specific domains or job roles. So as you build your skills, consider also preparing for one of our AWS certifications. These industry recognized certifications span foundational, professional, and even specialty levels to validate your AWS knowledge and skills to also build your credibility and confidence in the AWS cloud. We invite you to join also the AWS certified community, which brings together AWS certified practitioners and builders in an exclusive online community. You'll participate in different types of discussion forums, learning and networking opportunities, and have challenges from the AWS team to earn rewards and different types of recognition. You can scan one or both of the QR codes on the screen to get started with your cloud skills, training and certification. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation. I hope you found the information useful and that it will help you get started with Amazon Monotron. Should you need any more information, feel free to connect with me at LinkedIn or send me an email with any questions you have. Thank you. Take care.